Hey everyone, it's me, Julian Greystoke. Yes, I know. Surprising. And Jane, here on my chair. Nigel is also here. See? We are here to do a tag for you again today. I know I've been doing a lot of tags lately, but I'm kind of running out of ideas of like other non-book review content to bring you guys. So if you have any ideas, especially writing related, please do comment below and let me know. <laughs> and if you want to make certain that they get done, like there's a there's a Nigel's tail on my face. If you want to make certain that they get done, there's a way to do that. Like, if there's a video that you must see from me, you can go to my Patreon. There's a level, I forget which one it is, where you can donate where you have to boss me around every month. Like, you could make me do whatever video you want me to do every month, within reason. But please, just drop ideas below for any sort of writing or bookish related videos you'd like to see besides book reviews. Because I try to do... I try to do one book review and one something else every week, so oh my gosh, Nigel. So we're doing a tag today, the Your Booktube tag. So I guess it's not really so much a book tag as it is a booktube tag. The first question is, how do you decide what to read on your channel? It's super fucking random. I don't have like a formal TBR, like some booktubers are so organized and they'll have a TBR and they'll be like, I'm doing this this or that a thon and like they'll have plans for books they're gonna read and tell people what they are. And I'm just like, literally I just go on the Overdrive app for my library and I find, I click on like, I'm in the mood for fantasy so I click on fantasy and then I click on available now and get whatever is there because I listen to most of my books thanks to my job, so yep, that's that's how I choose what books I'm gonna read next. Question two, do you prep for your videos or are you a bit random? Do you schedule them? While I do schedule them, uh, some of you may have noticed my spiel at the end of every single video where I tell you I post new videos Mondays and Fridays. Most of you probably don't even stay that long, most of you tone that out, but I do schedule my videos Mondays, Fridays, every damn week. I uh, do some planning for them, like I usually write down some notes in a notebook here, and that's pretty much it. Like I don't script them or really do like in-depth planning, and sometimes I don't plan at all. Sometimes I just start talking, and then I try to make something sensical out of it later when I'm editing. That's probably a really backwards way to do it, but that's how I do it. Question the third, what inspired you to start this channel? I don't know if any, like, I can't think of a moment when I was like, yes, I'm going to start a booktube channel. I think I just, a couple of my friends had been talking about getting into YouTube when I was, like, much younger. And I was listening about it, and I'm like, yeah, that sounds cool, that sounds cool, but I don't know what I do, what would I talk about. Uh, I'm a theater nerd, so I like to be in front of people, and I like to be the center of attention, so... Obviously being on YouTube would be a perfect scenario for me, but what to talk about? And then finally, I think I just did a book review. I was like, I felt so strongly about a book that I just found a camera, sat down in front of it, and did a book review. It's probably still on this channel because I don't delete anything ever. I'm way too lazy for that. So if you go all the way back through, you can find my first book review ever and then laugh at me. Or just be like, wow, she has not changed yet. All oh, damn woman, do something new with yourself. Question four, your film session, walk us through it. Pretty straightforward. At some point in my life, I write down notes for what vid upcoming videos are gonna be. Like I have a shit ton of book reviews that haven't been done yet in here. And then I just decide when I have like an hour or two free and I plop my ass down in my chair with my camera. Oh, I have to put makeup on first usually. That's a pain. That's my least favorite part. I hate putting on makeup. I don't mind wearing it. It's just the act of putting it on. I hate it. I put on makeup, I sit in my chair, and I just talk to myself for however long, however many videos I want to make. Question five, what is your favorite booktube style? Tags, TBRs, hauls, wrap-ups, unboxings? What? What, woman? I really like tags. <laughs> like, not just to do them, I love to watch other people's tags. I just, they're like potato chips. Like, this real fast, snappy, just get to know a person thing. Like, I find tags a great way to get to know a person. And also Nigel's tail. 
Plus, I love to do them myself. And I also have a really soft spot for wrap-ups. I like the bite-sized like, look at what the person has read in the month without having to watch a full review of all of the books. And it also kind of gives me an overview of what they have reviewed in case I want to go back and get more of their in-depth thoughts. I don't like TBRs because I don't just like to be sitting there and teased with books that they may or may not read, may or may not talk about. I'm here to talk about books don't bring me these theoretical books that may happen in the future. I don't really I don't really like hauls for the same reason. I don't just want to see what books you have. I want to talk about them. I do occasionally watch unboxings. If I'm like super bored and I want something on in the background, I'll put on an unboxing. But I don't really do them myself, mostly because I don't have anything to unbox. Because I don't subscribe to any of those book subscriptions or anything. Question six. If you had it your way, what would you want to see more of on BookTube? There's a lot of stuff on BookTube already that I enjoy, but if I could find it, I would like to see more really thoughtful videos dissecting popular books more. It's fun to, you know, watch a video where somebody's telling you, like, yes, no, should you read this, should you not read it? But I also really, really love videos that, that dissect popular books and bring up the flaws and the stuff that was done well in a more thoughtful manner. And I would really like to see more videos that really get into the nitty-gritty of what people liked and didn't like, which might mean spoilers sometimes. I know some booktubers... It's getting better, but a lot of booktubers are still like afraid of any spoilers. But yeah, that's what I want to see more of. The other thing I would really like to see more on booktube is more booktubers doing read-alongs. Similar to what I did with a couple of books here, you can find them on my channel, where we just sort of read along with the booktuber as they explore a book from beginning to end. Obviously, those are very spoilery. They are incredibly time intensive, so I understand why a lot of people don't do them, but when I do find them, I just eat them up. Question seven, do you take notes as you read? Do you mark up your books? Sometimes I do take notes as I read, not super often because I'm usually reading at work and so I can't like just like stop working to take a note. So usually what'll happen is I'll finish a book and then I will like as soon as I'm able write down everything that I like remember about it for the review while it's still fresh in my mind. I don't mark up books. One, because I listen to a lot of books more than I do read them, but even when I do read them, I don't mark them up. There's something, my brain just won't let me. I know it's my book and I can do what I like with it, but I just can't bring myself to write on those beautiful pristine pages. If I want to take notes, I usually have a notebook next to me and I just, you know, jot down as I'm reading. Question eight, where would you like to see your channel this time next year? Uh, bigger, I guess, what YouTuber doesn't want their channel to grow. I have been on the slowest, slow track that anyone was ever on. I don't know what it is about my channel, I'm doing something wrong, but it's just, I am very slow growing. Whoa, two visits from future Julian in one video? Huh, you are really blessed, you guys. Anyway, I did want to say that I have reached 1,000 subscribers, obviously, at this point, but not even a hundred people watch my videos on a regular basis, which I mean, I love those under 100 people. They always comment and are very thoughtful, but I'm curious why all of those other people subscribe to me if they're not interested in the content that I put out. Now many people would say, Julian, maybe you should put out some different kinds of content because clearly like only 40 something people actually want to watch what you put out, to which I say, the point of this is to do what I like, so if only 40-something people like it, then I'll make those 40-something people happy. I just, like, I'm not complaining about having a thousand subscribers, I'm just curious why so many of them are here and they don't watch my videos. Question 9. Best booktube memory. I don't know if I really have a best booktube memory. Um, it's not very exciting, I just kind of hang out here in my library and talk to people. I mean, I guess... There was probably a point where people started to talk back to me that was very exciting, and I've made a few friends that is very exciting here on BookTube, but, like, there was never, like, one thing where I'm like, that, that is the memory. Getting my light was exciting, I guess. I unboxed it for my patrons. Getting a Patreon and f getting a few patrons on it was very exciting. I did not expect to have any patrons. I was just like, I'm gonna make this Patreon and no one's going to support me on it. But that's fine because it's free. And I have some patrons and that's really exciting. And finally, 
Number 10, why booktube? Why did you choose booktube? I think we discussed it a little bit at the beginning. I wanted to start a YouTube channel, but I didn't know what to do it about. I thought about gaming for a while, and I have a couple of Let's Plays that are up on here. And I read some of my fanfictions to you as well. Jane, stop doing that to my chair. No, no clawing my chair. Yeah, sit quietly. But ultimately booktube was what I went with, and I think it's just because books are an enduring thing in my life. Other things may come and go, but it will always be books with me. So it just made the most sense to do booktube, especially since I, I really love editing videos, I've discovered. So it lets me enjoy editing videos, plus I get to talk about things that I love. Alright guys, that's the end of this tag. Did you enjoy it? I hope so. Because I do these not only because I enjoy editing videos, but also because I hope that people like watching them. All the links to my social media are in the doobly-doo for ease of your clicking. As I previously mentioned, I post new videos Mondays and Fridays. If you liked what you saw here, there's a lot more like it here on this channel because I've been doing this for a long ass time. And if you wish it was higher quality, you can support me on Patreon where all of your donations go towards getting me better equipment. And Jane and I will see you again next time with whatever it is we happen to be doing next time. Bye! Well, hey everyone, it's shout out time again. I'm here with this month's patrons Lennox, Amanda, Thelia, Jenny, Kim, Lisa, Sabby Panda, Sam, and Sarah. Thank you all so much for supporting me, it means a lot.